Hi guys, uh, thanks for joining my channel again. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Um, uh, like, comment, share. Uh, the more information we share with each other, the, the better it is for everyone to learn. Uh, so we'll start off with today, what I'll be working on is I'm going to be working on how I remove uh, stuff from the boards. So we say the BGA chips, uh, the IC chips, the gold connectors, um, stuff like that from the board. So that's just a normal satellite box. If you look at some of the previous videos, you'll see where I took away took apart that satellite box. So again, I'll remove, show you how I remove from that. Uh, this is another board that came out of a telecom uh, system. So again, we'd have uh, gold pins, we have um, IC chips, uh, stuff like that. We've got the um, crystal crystal oscillators, all that sort of stuff. So I'll show you how I'm going to remove them on this video. There's a couple of ways of doing it. Um, one way is just get a pliers and just uh, thing. The other way is the chisel like I showed you. Um, but for today's one, what I'm going to be using is a heat gun. So again, this is just a normal uh, PC uh, board. So again, I'll show you how we get all this off using the heat gun. So I'll just be using a, a regular heat gun uh, just to heat it up. So all the time, again, safety first. So when using a heat gun, always in a well-ventilated area uh, because when you heat these boards up, they do release toxic fumes. Um, so again, I'll be wearing um, mask, gloves, uh, doing it in a ventilated area. So Again, I'll just, um, for this I'll probably just use a normal uh, dust mask, to be honest, I probably won't go with the, the uh, chemical mask that I have. Um, I'm just going to, going to use a normal dust mask, because again, I'll be outside, I'll just stay upwind of it, I'll make sure whichever way the wind is blowing, I'm upside of it so that the, any fumes are blown away from me. Um, main thing is safety all the time, just remember that, that um, safety is the, the main thing. So. Um, I'll be doing this outside so it may be hard for you to hear what I'm doing on the camera so I'm going to explain what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be using a bucket. I will place the board on top of the bucket that way. Then I'll use the heat gun to heat the solder along here. When the solder's got up to temperature I just tap the board and usually the bits will just fall off straight down into the bucket. So um, that's, that's the technique I use. So just to explain how I do it in case you can't hear what, hear me as I'm going along because again if I'm outside uh, the, again the noise of the uh, heat gun can sometimes make it hard to pick up what people are saying. So as I said I'll just be bringing this up, uh, putting the heat gun over the solder, uh, loosening the solder. Once the solder's uh, heated up enough and it's gone back into a liquid I'll just tap this, usually tap it with a spanner, tap it with a screwdriver, hammer or anything like that and it'll release all the connectors should fall into the bucket. Uh, very important when using the heat gun to make sure you remove the batteries. Because um, and another thing is always I do always have it this way so that if any of these um, resistors or capacitors uh, explode with the heat, they're going to explode down into the bucket. They're not going to explode up into my face. So that's why I always turn it face down. Put the bucket underneath it. Put this sitting on top of the bucket. Um, and then when I heat it up and then when I tap it down everything should just fall into the bucket so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause, pause the video and um, when I come back um, I should have my setup fully done and I, we, we should be ready to go so again apologies if you can't hear what I'm saying when, I've the, when I'm outside with the um, heat gun but as I've already explained so just straight down on top of the bucket I'll be leaving this um, any of the boards, won't be, uh, every board you'll see me do the same thing I'll just leave the board down on top I'll heat up all the solder, tap it, and then it should just fall straight down into the bucket. And when I'm finished, fully finished, each board should be completely clean. I should have nothing left on the board. Now, sometimes there might be a few bits left that were hard to get off. So uh, once I've taken the main bits off, I'll heat it up maybe and then just pull them off. So that's, that's what I'm going to be doing on the video. Um, you will see a lot of smoke sometimes coming off these. That's why it's very important, as I said, to be outside. Um, wear the masks, um, as I said, I'm just going to wear the, the light mask for um, if I find that the fumes are getting too strong or anything like that, I will put on the, the heavier mask that if I find that there is a, a strong odour. Um, so that's it, so uh, when I come back we should be ready to go. Okay guys, so I'm about to start um, 
heating this up. So as I was saying to you already in the video, uh, safety first, make sure you have your masks on, your gloves on. Um, this is the bucket I'll be using, the heat gun, and I'll just be heating this up. So I'll just show you how I do this. I'll just leave this on top, like so. And just get some heat going. So I'll just keep that until it gets hot. So I'll, I'll let that pause that for a minute. I'll come back once we've heated up fully. Okay, once we're up to temperature. We should start to see stuff falling off. So So there you can see chips just start to fall off once we get it up. So again, once I heat on the back, it should loosen all these chips up. So we say like so this chip, if I heat them up there a bit or heat them on the back. Always do this in a well ventilated area. So again, some chips have fallen in there. So I'll keep doing this until I've all the board completely cleaned. You can see there now, stuff has started to fall off already. So there you go, like little bits and pieces. So I'll do that with all the boards um, until they're completely cleaned off. Um, I'll come back to you in a while and we'll see what progression we've made on the boards. Okay, I've been working away there on the few boards, um, clearing them off. So just before I finish up, um, I'll just show you there, it's just cleared off one board there. So we've got all the bits, I'll sort through them at another stage. But it's just one of the subscribers have asked me about removing the sockets. So again, I use the heat the same way as I did to remove the rest of the bits. So I'm just gonna heat this socket up and it should fall away from the board and you can get access then to the socket in one lump which is gold bearing material and you can look online there's a couple of videos of boys processing the um, gold use it just by putting these into the AR or the nitric and um, hydrochloric and getting the gold from them and leaving, the leaving them inside the plastic so we can see that this is the area that the socket is held in so we'll just heat that up As I said already, remember, uh, ventilated areas, uh, wear your mask, gloves, um, you're dealing with hot items, you're dealing with toxic gases, toxic fumes, um, you may not feel the effects straight away, but over time, if you're taking chances, uh, this will damage your lungs. So please always remember safety first. This is me doing it, I'm not telling you to do it this way, this is the way I do it. Have a look now and see if that's released it. So as you can see, the socket now has been released. So while I'm here, I might as well just release this uh, VGR chip here, gold bearing chip. So again, I'll just heat the chip. And 
and there it is, there it comes away from it. So that's how I deal, deal with all my, um, that's how I deal with all the boards like that where anymore. One time I used to just pick off whatever I wanted and leave the stuff I couldn't get off, but now I use the heat gun and it releases everything. So as you can see, that has taken the, completely taken the socket off. So that's given me access there to um, that. If I wanted, I could pull the wires out with a little, ple little uh, pliers and that will give me access to the gold wires. Um, so we'll just have, see, can I do that here now? If I have, if this would work. So as you can see, it's uh, very hard to focus, but that has gold on the on it there. So I just pull that out afterwards. So you can pull them out once you've released the socket. If you wish to pull all the pins out yourself, you can do that. Um, I prefer just to leave them in the socket. I've seen videos on there. Obviously. So that's all that I have for today's video. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, hopefully. Um, I'll show you a video of, of sorting all this out once I have it all completed at some stage. Um, I have a good 20-30 boards there to do this to. So once I have that completed, I'll um, do a video on that, sorting out the different chips, the different stuff, how I get the gold from them after I do that. So please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. Um, and also check out the two groups on Facebook who deal with this. I'll put links again in in the video for them. For anyone that hasn't seen, isn't a member of these groups. They're very good groups, very good people there. Uh, brilliant it would help any other everyone out so uh, thanks a lot for watching and um, till the next video thank you okay just okay just before I finish up um, I'm just going to show you one more time how I remove the um, the sockets so again socket is here you can actually see I don't know if you can see with the sunlight but you can see gold glittering there on it uh, so to remove that socket I know that it's roughly about here so what I'll do is I'll set this up again and I'll heat it up from there in that area. So if you have any suggestions for videos that I should make, uh, taking stuff apart, please put it in the comment section. So I can maybe do it. I'm not really into the chemical side of it yet. It's more taking the items apart, having a look through them, seeing what's made of gold, what's not made of gold. And um, so if you have any suggestions on what I should do, just give us a shout and I'll, I'll, if I can come across the item, I'll do it. Um, my next plan, hopefully, is I'll take apart some PlayStations to see what's inside them. Okay, so that's... So again, there's our socket, uh, let me get it out into the light a bit, so there's our socket, um, put it in there, it might see a bit better, so that's the socket removed, so again you have your, your solder on the back, um, you can put that into HCL to release the solder off the back, um, and that's it, so that's how I remove the sockets, so as you can see, I've also removed um, some of the chips. Again, you'll have solder on the back, but again, this is a great way of removing them. So you get them all in one go. Um, some of the larger chips. Some of the uh, RAM um, sockets, I've removed them. And even here, we have, again, this um, socket which contains uh, gold so again it makes it easier then to uh, pull out the gold pins so again i just get my little pliers or snips or whatever you want to call it grab over pin and there we go one gold pin so that's how i do it uh, so as I was saying already, next week I hope to take away, take apart some PlayStations. Uh, we'll see what's inside them. So uh, please leave a comment, um, ask me whatever you want to ask me about. Uh, suggest something you want me to take apart. And we'll do it hopefully in a future video. Thank you.